Hello everyone, back again here. I have a Ryobi 18 volt power station. It's pretty cool. Let's check it out. What came in a box here is the 60 watt type C, type A charger. Um, this USB C to C cable. And this cover to protect the, I guess you want a power, power station generator from getting wet here. I downloaded the app here, it's called Ryobi Gen Control and tells you everything about the generator when it's running, it's pretty cool, it tells you where all the capacities of the battery are and how many watts you're using. On the box here, it says it has 3000 starting watts, 1800 running watts, 2 USB-C's, 4 USB-A's, 3 120 volt outlets, and it has a charging input USB-C. I ran a lot of tests and seen the capabilities of this portable power station generator. Um, it has a maximum of 60 watts charging USB-C. I really don't like the USB-C charging. I wish they would have came up with something a little bit different. Um, I also don't like that you can't charge this uh, while, while using it, meaning that you can't use a solar panel and charge it at the same time. I wish they would have really had a pass-through system on it. Still, it's a very good little power portable power station the reason I like it is that you can individually just change the batteries as it goes dead I like it because I don't also I really don't want to use an extension cord so much anymore and when I'm soldering or using a heat gun it's it, it's absolutely great on, on the front here it's got a little display panel it tells you where the batteries are at um, has a light, bright and red, a little flashing light, it's pretty cool. You can move the display high and low to see power, I guess, or during the light hours. I guess we'll see what it does here. To turn the generator on, or power station on, you have to turn this button on. And we're going to test this out with heat gun because I use the heat gun all the time when I'm soldering. I really bought this generator so I can solder and bring the heat gun around without using an extension cord. And see what the output watts are. Almost 1200 watts here. And it also displays here. You can run the heat gun about a half hour here with all eight batteries. I have four amp hour batteries. I've been looking at buying some 12 amp hour batteries. They're pretty expensive now, but I'm sure they'll go down in price. Pretty cool to have a heat gun portable like that, right? You can hear the little fan on the back. It has a fan on the back of the power station here. There's two of them. One here on the top, one on the lower here. I wanted to talk about charging a little bit. So charging from the solar, I have a thousand watts, so I'm using this little toolkit RC here, charger that I have. And we're seeing here that I have 26.88 volts coming in. I have plenty of watts, and it's still only allowing 58 to 60 watts. It's not allowing me to do more than 60 watts, which is not... Nah, not, not good enough for me. So what I did is I bought some Ryobi 12 volt chargers here. It's because it's easier to charge from a battery with 12 volts. I bought two of these and I'm able to charge the batteries faster. It's kind of cool because all I have to do is take the battery out and as you see, directly charging from the sun. It's always pretty cool, you know. There's two options there, but again, you can't use the generator while it's charging. Um, so what I did is, okay, well, I have to externally charge the batteries. One thing to point out is with the power station, you, you need at least four batteries to get the 1800 watts. If not, you're gonna only get 1350 here. 
a portable power station, in my opinion, is something that's not going to power your entire house for more than just a few hours. This will run the fridge and the TV and everything for a few hours, and it'll even run an air conditioner for a couple hours. You know, I might have to switch the batteries out, but that's that's only a portable, something for portable. You don't want to have the extension cord, something you only have to power temporarily. It's it's a great device for. It. If you're looking to power a house, don't even think about something uh, as a Blue Eddy or a Ryobi or anything like that. This is just a, a temporary power supply. Um, if you're going to want to power a house, you're going to need something gigantic like like this box full of batteries and a power wall or a solar generator is what I call. This is definitely cool. I'm glad I bought it. It was a good purchase. The only downside, like I said, is that you can't charge it and use it at the same time from the sun. And I'm big from charging everything from the sun, but... Again, you just buy a couple of chargers and you can still charge from the sun and still be able to do that. There's always a raise around everything. Uh, I like it. And I, I, I like it more than the 40 volt because I can I, I use the 18 volt power tools all the time and it's just more convenient. The 40 volts are big and bulky and they take longer to charge and it, it, yes, you might be able to get a little bit more power out of the, the 40 volts, but again, it's only a portable power station. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.